I am dog watching. Sometimes it could be hard to be flexible with eating when you're in new environments and you don't know what to expect. So I thought maybe it could be a fun thing to do where I did a what I eat in a few days kind of video while I'm house sitting and dog sitting. So I kind of just go through their pantry and fridges and I just eat what they have. So I have to be flexible. I can't stick to, you know, what I have and what I buy. Obviously I do that anyways, but it could be just something to show that that's normal to be able to do that. So let's see what I make out of their pantry. You know, I haven't had coffee actually. I've had it like maybe a couple times over the past year, but I have stopped drinking it as much just cause, I don't know, I felt like it was coming in the way of my hunger cues and mm -mm, anything that comes in the way of my hunger cues got to go. But it sounded really good today. I don't know, something about being in a different place, just like mm, some coffee sounds good. So hopefully it doesn't come in the way of my hunger cues. I should probably feed the dogs. Okay, yeah. <laughs> away so that little wrap was good and the chocolate milk but I'm still hungry so I have this smashed up literally like crumbs of one of these complete cookies it just got smashed or something so I'm gonna eat this I'd probably just pour it out of the bag into my mouth on the way down there and then we'll see what we'll do after the meeting so that meeting went longer than I expected. So it was from 6.30 to 8.30, but then we kind of talked forever, so until 9.30. Now, since it took me another 40 minutes to get home, it is about 10.20 and I'm so hungry. I wasn't prepared that it was gonna be that long, so I'm starving. Everything's closed because of this whole situation in the world, like everything's closing early, so I am gonna go to Carl's Jr. and I'm gonna get a burger and I'm gonna get fries. So that's what I'm gonna do. surprised me and he's going to bring me pizza.
Yeah, I wish this was my life every day. It definitely isn't. Somebody commented on one of my videos. It's like the number one hated video that I've ever done on YouTube. Like I'll get comments every other day almost about like, this woman is nuts. Like don't listen to this woman. And then the other day there was someone that said, does this chick work for Monsanto or something? I thought that was funny. Of course, if someone just randomly stumbled upon my channel and didn't know like what I'm really trying to promote here, I could see how someone could think that. Definitely don't work for Monsanto though. I think you guys all know this, but I'll just say it again. The whole purpose of recovery is, I mean, for some people it may be, but for most people when the whole purpose is to get over their fear foods and not have food be an obsession in their life. So that we're not fearful, literally like anxious and panicky and have fears around food, like, and be obsessed with food and thinking about food constantly and just feel like food controls us and we feel crazy around food. We can't have food in the house or else we binge. Like that's insanity. And there is a way out, like where you'd never have to feel that way ever again. And the way to do that is to stop trying to control food. Stop trying to say no to certain foods. Stop saying certain foods are bad, off limits, all of this stuff. And, to, and just restrict yourself from them. That is what causes binge eating. Once you go through the process of binging the off limit foods or the bad foods or the unsafe foods, you stock your pantry with that and allow yourself to have that as much or as often as you want, there does get to the point where you're not gonna really want those foods as much anymore. It does happen. The whole purpose is so that you don't have to feel like you could eat that way all day every day. And you get to the point where if someone offered you your favorite food and you're not craving it, you can say no. Like truly, not like because you're like, oh no, I shouldn't have it. It's like, no, truly, I'm not craving that right now. And I know it sounds insane until you go through it. So these people that say this kind of stuff, I get it. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't gone through it myself. Until you go through it yourself, it's hard to believe it's possible because it's everything that we have been taught the opposite. But once you go through it and you're not ignorant to this anymore, then you're like, what? Like, this was the answer? What? Doing the opposite that I, what I've been told? To just eat those foods unconditionally, unrestrictedly, as much as I want, as often as I want, and now I don't want them anymore? I went from this end of the spectrum of feeling crazy around food to now allowing my st myself to have that for however long, and now I seriously, like, could care less. That's the goal of diet recovery. And look, as you can see, I can have it anytime I want still. Sometimes I'm just not craving it. Sometimes I'm not craving anything, so I just opt for simplicity. There's my rant. I don't work for Monsanto. And for the people that still don't believe it, it just, maybe they're not ready. And that's okay. I hope I don't have boogers or anything. <laughs> so yes, I'm working today, but I felt like it's a beautiful summer day and the pool feels nice, so I'm, I might as well take advantage of this, right? So, gonna do some swimming. It's so nice too to not feel like I have to like make this a workout, swim for leisure, swim for fun, and like not be like, oh, how many calories can I burn though? You know? Anyways, that's my rant. I will see you at the next meal time. <laughs>
the following year and even year and a half and even beyond that it slowly tapered so it's not like uh, this is how I recovered okay I wouldn't have recovered if I ate the way I did now because this is just how my body naturally settled in and it still fluctuates from time to time so please remember that please if anything it's like you see me eating pizza and it gives you the permission to eat pizza but it's like if you want pizza for breakfast lunch and dinner like then you need pizza, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I eat X amount of pieces. Maybe you need the whole large pizza to yourself. Like, you know? Hi. I missed you coming in the corners of my videos. If any of you guys are longtime watchers, you would probably remember him doing that in an older video. For example, like, if you're not craving eggs and avocado toast, don't eat freaking eggs and avocado toast. Like. If you're craving muffins for breakfast, eat muffins. If you're craving French toast, pancakes, like sugary things, sweet breakfasts, eat sweet breakfasts. I don't crave sweet breakfasts anymore. When, like before, French toast and pancakes were my favorite thing. I don't know, just what happens. I still like it, I just don't crave it right now. So maybe in a couple years or a couple months or tomorrow or 10 years from now, I will whatever you know and i'm like if you don't want a banana if you're not craving a banana or a green bean or broccoli like you want peanut butter cups have the peanut butter cups <laughs> i'm serious because that's the only way out that's the only way you're gonna get back to the normalcy and freedom that you want and second thing i wanted to bring up once again i think i've talked about this before i have to have if not if this is the first time you're hearing me saying this then like some people in their recovery they'll still compensate or they'll still have limits on themselves so this isn't unrestricted eating it's still restricted it's just that maybe they're allowing themselves to have donuts or potatoes or muffins or cookies or ice cream or bagels and cream cheese for breakfast and then because they have that for breakfast they put they'll put a limit on it. it's like okay i had it for breakfast so now for lunch and dinner i have to have something safe and clean or you know when really they're deep down they're craving donuts and more sugar or more carbs for lunch and dinner and in between if you've had this unsafe food for breakfast then that doesn't mean like you've used all of your recovery bucks for the whole day <laughs> if you still crave something sweet or you crave carbs you crave fats or something unsafe for breakfast lunch and dinner all day long even if it's, if it's the same thing or just multiple different unsafe things later in the day even if for all your meals then this is something to challenge because like you have to get over that you're not just challenging your fear foods and allowing yourself to have it okay like i had it today like i had one thing of it no you're challenging everything you're challenging the limits that you've set around times during the day that you're allowed to eat types of foods that you're allowed to eat during the day amounts of foods that you're allowed to eat during the day and all of that so that all needs to be challenged so the quicker the better go at your own pace though but don't get Com too comfortable and stuck either for example maybe you see me eating a complete cookie and you're like no i want like a real cookie like with butter and sugar and white flour like i want then have the cookie like i'll do that too you know so again this is the only way you're gonna get to the level of freedom that you desperately crave and yes it does happen I promise. I promise. Mm -hmm.